I really need to make myself an intro. You know, like like a proper one with video and cool shit that goes <laughs> big explosion in the background. <laughs> and out of the explosion comes my name in like this cool blue steel looking like metallic sort of background and then like the sound of a sharp blade and then my name drops off in the background glass shatters on the screen and then it comes to hey what's going on guys it's bad no, I don't know it just sounded really melodramatic maybe I'm having a midlife crisis I really hope not because I'm only 20 years old so that means I'm gonna die at 40 that's not good that's not a good lifespan let's get on to things shall we um oh yeah I've forgotten that this is actually the start of Shizun's path. The reason I forgot was because, um, well, I recorded last night, but see the problem that, with that, is that, uh, I didn't record my voice very loudly, so you can hardly hear me, and I'm sure you probably actually already know that if you, if you, if you watched my, um, pointless video as pointless video. It just sounds like I was repeating myself there, but, um, yeah, so I had to read. I have to redo the whole thing today, now, right now. Um, God damn it, which one is it? Oh, I have too many saves here. Jesus Christ! I think I need to delete a few of these. Maybe it's just it's nostalgia to keep them, or maybe it's just going to make my computer really slow if I keep them all. Anyway, um, so I pretty much skipped the majority of the first, uh, the first chapter in this one because I'm pretty sure um, with all the paths that the first chapter is pretty much the same um, for the for the majority at least um, I did notice while skimming through a bit of this that uh, there was a few different things like a few new scenes with Shizun and Misha but basically all that happened is I'm on the verge of sneezing, but it's not going to come. It's it's at that point where you just you sort of hold your head up high and your mouth is like half open and your your eyes are kind of semi closed and you're trying to focus on sneezing, but it's not going to come and you just end up looking like a retard if you're around people because you've just sort of got your mouth open going. <laughs> Uh, 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 it's gone. Uh, it's gone. Okay. Uh, it's gone. Someone gave me the sniffles, so the snuffleupagus has got me by the neck. The bastard. But yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought there because I went off on a little chan tangent. But basically... What's happened so far is that I have joined the student council and we went and had tea at the Shanghai with Shizun and Misha, I think. I, I basically skim read um, the parts that were new to me and it wasn't really all that important apart from the fact that we joined the student council and we're trying to make friends with, uh, we're trying to become better friends with Shizun at the moment, so. Oh, and we're going to dodge the subject because they just discovered my, they came into my room, they just barged into my room while I was, um, jerking off, I mean, um, <clears throat> waking up, and, um, I had morning wood, and so they were just sort of standing there, and I was just sort of standing there, staring, you know, awkwardly into each other's eyes, going, uh, so, uh, um, I'm happy to see you? No, no. God damn it, I, I swear I've wasted like at least three minutes. But yeah, they just noticed my medication and I didn't start my um, timer, so I'll just add three minutes onto that. Um, and I've just said it's nothing. I quickly step in front of him, trying to hide the stuff behind my back. Shizun takes a step back, looking suspicious, but it's an expression not without concern. By the way, I'm not high or anything tonight, I've just, I've had one, one drink, so I'm... And it's the fact that there is no one else in the house tonight. I actually have the house completely to myself. I could go and I could scream as loud as I want. Not that I'm going to, because if any of you are actually wearing headphones, then I'm probably going to uh, make your ears bleed with sexiness, because sexiness is just going to be oozing out of your ears because you heard my voice so loudly and, you know, way to be cocky. All right. 
I hope if I avoid it, she'll understand that I don't want to keep her pot potting, prodding me about it. Dot dot dot. Really? What are you hiding, Hachan? Nothing. Dot dot dot. Is that so? I realise I can't really square my way out of this. They are nosy by nature, and hiding it is just going to pique their curiosity more. Yeah, okay, it is something, but I don't really want to talk about it, okay? Not yet. Can we just put this aside for now? As Misha translates, Shizun stares at me with, at me hard with her eyes focused and analytical as ever, peering at me curiously over the rims of her glasses. Her fingers press against each other thoughtfully, as if weighing the value of pursuing this further than necessary against the insult of disrespecting my wish. Don't you dare pursue this, Shizun. If you had any sense of self-respect for me, for you and yourself, for... Wait, what? What? For you and yourself? Oh, shut up, Panda. Her expression finally melts into a slight smile and she signs something to Misha. Da da da. Oh, thank God the music's back. I was beginning to wor worry. Okay, then we'll wait and become better friends. Better and better friends. And one day you'll feel like it. You can tell us about it. Both of them smile widely at me. I feel shocked and a little stupid about being like this. <clears throat> they are not stupid and probably can at least halfway guess what's going on with me and such simple kind words I feel relieved that they don't think any worse of me even if I'm like this even if I'm not the rest here even if I'm not like the rest here even if I can't be at ease about it seems that behind the obnoxious mischievous acts both of these girls are really kind of good people that's what I think thanks so you want me to help out today right? Since I'm one of you now? One of us. One of us. For the greater good. The greater good. Yup! After class. No, 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 now! Now? But what about class? You're going to skip again? Dot dot dot. Ha 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 ha! It's for the common good. The greater good. So we sacrifice our math lives lessons, and maybe the social studies too. Well, I guess I'm fine with it. Da, da, da. Awesome, Hachan. You said it, okay? Remember, I'm fine with helping out. That's what you said, right? Yep. That tone. I suddenly regret saying it. Da, da, da. Okay, are you ready to go then? We can go to the office together. God, Misha's voice is going to kill me. No, you're probably going to make me carry all of your stuff for something. Or, or something. Dot dot dot. Don't be silly, Hachan. We've never walked to school together, Hachan. I almost want to ask why we would, but then it dawns on me that both of them consider me their friend, like Misha said before, and they won't become better friends with me either. It's weird. I've never really thought about them that way, or any of the people I've met so far this week. Is it really so easy? Just like that. Okay, let's go then. Shizun grins craftily and puts her hands behind her back. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry, I really needed that. Better out than in. Ha 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 ha! That's great, Hachan! Okay, okay, but first, you had a really great idea. Jachan liked it a lot, so it's time for a game. Oh god, I hate these games. Oh no. Jachan is holding a 1,000 yen note in one hand. Hachan. <laughs> yeah, Hachan. If you guess which one, you can have it. If you don't, you're carrying all of our books to school. Right, Chichan? Right. <laughs> she and Shizun exchange nods. Okay, Chan, get ready. I'm guessing I lose. Yep, carrying three bags instead of one, I think about the day that's ahead of me, of us. I can see students walking back and forth through the courtyard, probably in preparation of their own projects. The festival is practically here. That means there are only two possible reasons that my help is required. Either there is only a small amount of work left and they just want a helping hand to wrap up the mundane final checks they are obligated to do. I highly doubt that. It's going to be a fucking massive workload of just bullshit that they're not even going to help you with. Or there is a ton of work left. I'm going to bet my money on that one. And Shizun is putting on a calm face as a torrent of built up, procrastinated... Work threatens to kill us all. 
Once inside the office, I look around and see that it's deserted. I guess this means there isn't a lot of work left, huh? Since there's no one here and all. It's always like this, Hachan. This confirms what I have thought before, but I've never really able been, been actually been able to confirm de definitively. Shizun and Misha are the student council, the whole student council, and me. Damn, so it's true. The student council is really only you two. Shizun looks as if she's struck wondering whether to be ashamed or explode with anger, and Misha is equally divided between laughing and trying to stop it. Thumbs up. Well then, for Chan, you'll be happy to know that. Si oh, you'll be happy to know that since it's just us three, we have a lot to do. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot, lot. God, that does not make me happy. I'm not a happy panda. I'm a sad panda. But it seems to make Shizune very happy. She does like her work. Oh God, what just happened to my computer? Okay, it's back. Wahahaha! <laughs> The wah ha 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 lagged out my computer. Just kidding. The work turns out to be sorting and double checking the considerable amount of paperwork necessary for an event such as a school festival to get done. Bureaucracy is a mind boggling thing, but we managed to finish it just when the lunch bell rings. Okay, now that we're done, we can relax a little, but not too much. We have lots more to do in the afternoon. Da -da -da. It's actually not that much work, Chan, so we can afford to enjoy a lunch, a little lunch first. Ha ha ha! The two of them produce a small array of plastic containers seemingly out of thin air. <coughs> hmm, hmm. It's chicken cutlet with tomatoes and soybean sprouts. Oh, I could make that sound far more fancy. Put on a French accent and you could just make anything sound fancy. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, waiter, what is tonight's special? Oh, good afternoon, madame. It's a uh, chicken, chicken cutlet with tomatoes and soybeans. Oh, fucking, that was not French, goddamn. I really need to stop trying to uh, bring out different accents. I think I'll just stick to my own voice. And Misha! Doesn't it sound, doesn't it sound delicious, a chan? Well, the chicken, but the soybean sprouts? You can have mine, Misha. That's how much I like you. You can have my soybean sprouts. It was just made this morning, and it's still warm, so eat, eat, eat. <clears throat> I take one of the containers and open it. It looks nice and certainly smells good. The fact that I'm really hungry adds to that even more. I could take a huge twist on this right here and turn it into something extremely sexually explicit. It looks nice, and certainly smells good. The fact that I'm really hungry adds to that even more. Just think about that. I'm sure you know what I mean. Wow, this looks great. Where did you get this? Dot dot dot. Bet she zoomed at it. That is an important Hachan. There was supposed to be a steal, the stall selling lunchboxes, but the girl who who was to run it suddenly said she couldn't do it. Shachan said, what a waste. It was a lot of work to trick Hachan into making this. Wait, what? Hey, what the hell? So, Shachan wanted to see if she could do it, but then decided not to. Right, Shachan? Shizun sulks angrily, shooting Misha a displeased look. I don't think I was supposed to hear that story. This is your test food? Oh, I'm a guinea pig. Jesus. I'm eating it too, Hachan. After you, of course. And Shachan is too. It doesn't answer the question. Nevertheless, I split a pair of chopsticks Shizun offers me, pick up a piece of cutlet, and pop it into my mouth. I'm sure Shizun could pop something else into her mouth. It's surprisingly good. I didn't expect Shizun to be such a good cook. Oh, just as Shizun made it. Shizun puts her chopstick down and to sign curtly towards Misha, who gulps down her cutlet with noticeable difficulty in order to speak for her. A chan, then to talk with food in your mouth. It's not like I enjoy doing it. Anyway, how muffly to show that, uh, that kind of concern. Da -da -da. 
got. <clears throat> you can't even eat right, Chan. That's all it is. It's a stalemate. I can't eat in order to talk to Shizune. You can't eat in order to chastise for me eating the wrong way. Monsieur caught in between is the same is in the same situation. It looks the most disheartened by how this is going. I'm just confused. I'm mind fucked. Either way, our food is getting colder by the second, and it wasn't piping hot to start with. Wherever this was going, it dies down pretty fast once we realise that and we eat. After a while, the bell rings, but Misha makes no attempt to tell Shazoom, so I'm sure they're planning to skip class and spend the rest of the day in here again. Hmm. Hey Chan, do you have any plans for the festival? No, not really. After all, I've only been here a week. What could I set up in that time? Oh, don't ask that question to these two. God, they will brand you for that. They will scold you. Well, you could have set your own store. Wahaha! <laughs> hey Chan, you helped us out so much. Don't sell yourself short. Okay. <laughs> That's not. We're serious. Okay, Jesus, calm the fuck down. Calm your farm, woman. Calm that farm. The two of them seem to get indig indignant. Indignant over the strangest things. Dot dot dot. You're going through, right, Hachan? You're going through. You're going though, right, Hachan? You sound at least. You should at least see what we're. What we've accomplished. Accomplished? I don't understand how Misha said that there. Everyone should be able to look at what they've done so they can fully understand their work. It's my belief, you're no exception. But Jan, you should definitely go. If you don't have anything planned, then maybe we can go together. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, Misha, don't hit on me. I'm not going after you. I'm going after Shazoon, thank you very much. These women, they're all gagging for it. Need a hand? If there's anything you need help with, I'm fine with sticking around. Why is, um, Shazoon, like, flushing? I feel much more at ease than I did earlier. My previous concerns and fears long gone. I've forgotten about this morning's trouble entirely now, until now. Having fun with Shazoon like this. Having fun with Shazoon. It seems like an unfamiliar concept to think of. But, looking back on it, I've really enjoyed the moments I've spent with Shizune and Misha these past few days, in spite of everything else. Hey, you better. If we might be going together, then maybe I can afford to stick around a little longer, and I guess it beats class. Anything beats class, dot dot dot. Really, Hachan? Okay, we can consider this you're repaying us for the free lunch. Great, this is great. Really, really great. The channel was hoping to bring this up again later anyway. <laughs> That's not a free lunch at all. Normally I would be angry or at least slightly unsettled, but my mood has improved from earlier on, so I'll let it slide. Helping them out turns out to consist mostly of stamping forms and making what seems like 10,000 copies a piece of 50 different budget reports. not hard, but very boring, and according to Misha, the simplest of the tasks they deal with. I feel myself getting more and more tired with that, less eager to return to class. This is especially bad because the more time I spend out of class, the harder it seems just to get up and go back. These two, they're a terrible influence, terrible role models, not that it bothers me all that much, and I'm sure no one looks up to them, but it's the principle of the thing. Of the thing? Of the thing. I thought he had better grammar than that. Da, da, da. I certainly don't. Done! Is that what you say after sex too, Misha? Ah, oh, that was fast. Is that what you say after sex too, Hassel? I'll be finished before this period's over, I think. No, no, Hachan. Everything is done. So you're done too. That doesn't make any sense. Are you telling me that this is all arbitrary and you've been keeping me here for the hell of it? No. Da, da, da. But we have kept you long enough. You should go back to class, Chan. You can still make it for the most of the period. What about you? Da, da, da. 
that. Of course we're coming too. Of course. We'll be right behind you. They have to talk about me. Girls do that. They always talk about me. Me. Like, you know. Hassel. Because I'm a BAMF. Reassured, I start heading back to the class, but the period is almost halfway over, so I start thinking it would be pointless halfway there and pass the difference between this class and the next drinking juice in the hallway. It's a long juice drink. Juice drink? Drink drink of juice. Juice drink. Drink, drink, drink. Fucking painting. I keep an eye on the door to the student council room, but it doesn't open. What's taking them so long? Are they busy wrapping up my share of the work? Well, it shouldn't take so so long, unless there's more and they just wanted me to leave. The more I think about it, the likelier it seems. Shizuna's, well, not an idiot, but clearly she's unable to just come out with things. Maybe it's just because she can't talk, so it's harder for her. She has Misha, but all in all, as easy as they make it look, there's still a difference between casual speech and sign language. Really because I can't tell when Misha says it. I contemplate going back there to check on them, but the bell rings and I have to go to class. I don't know how I'm going to cope when Misha is trying to be serious with me, because all I'm going to be is like, Ha 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 ha, Hassel, wa ha 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 ha. They joined me a, f a few minutes later, and the thoughts I had in my mind before slip away in the routine of school life. By the time I remember school is over for the day and I'm too tired to do anything but go home, do my homework, and then go to sleep. <laughs> oh god, who does that? Who does that at 7 o'clock in the fucking morning? Bangs on a no door. It's Al! It's Al, you in there? Oh, of course I'm fucking in here. This is my bedroom. Throw something at the door. Fuck off! At five minutes past eight, an unbelievably loud banging jolts me awake. It's coming from outside my door. Quickly, I open the door to see Shizun and Misha standing side by side before me. And then I quickly close the door before they have a chance to talk to me. Both of them look a little worn out, although it's more noticeable on Misha. Which one of you knocked? I ask, echoing the question that must be on the mind of everyone in the entire building. Ahahaha, <laughs> that's not important, Hitchin. God. She quickly dismisses it, without even batting an eye. Oh, you're still in your pajamas, Hitchin? So you don't wake up at eight? I notice her hair is wet, her curls are barely holding their shape. She's had a shower. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I really like this song. Okay. No, I thought I'd sleep a bit later since it's the weekend and all, and I've been seriously sleep deprived this week. I wonder if she missed the poison in my words. Dot dot dot. Ah! Then it's a good thing we came to wake you up. I have an alarm that turns on at 9 o'clock. I don't need you coming just before 8 o'clock and knocking on my door. Although that was not a knock, that was more like you were trying to break down my door. Anyway, Hachan, I guess you would like to know why we're here, wouldn't you? It's not hard to guess, but I wish you wouldn't say the words she's going to say next. Oh, oh, I didn't do two, did I? Did I? Did I do? No, I didn't. Would you like to skip class and go somewhere nice with us? Wait, what? Come again? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to skip class to do something fun? Uh, sure. Why not? Depends what this fun entails. Is it fun in the sack? Little, uh, little hanky-panky with the both of you? That's the kind of fun I enjoy, but, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the fun you're referring to is a little more tame. I, I guess I can deal with some of that sort of fun, I guess. But next time, I get to choose the fun, alright? I get to choose the fun. I was certain they'd force me to help with them again to do some slave work. Seriously? Misha grins and nods enthusiastically. I like this new approach they've taken, although I'm somewhat surprised they would suggest skipping class, even if we only have a few days. 
I only have a half day since it's Saturday. I can't believe they have school on Saturday. That's horrible. I feel sorry for these people. Are you too worried about constantly missing class? They're the student council. No one gives a shit if they skip the class. Actually, you're in the student council too, so no one gives a shit if you skip class. Dot, dot, dot. Well, it doesn't seem to be a problem. But Chan, this school is pretty much in a standstill whenever this time rolls around. It's a Saturday too. Don't you want to do something fun? I'm amazed by how little they seem to care. If you could see my arms right now, I am portraying the amount of fucks they give. And, to be quite honest, there's not many. If any. Dot, dot, dot. Not that we're pressuring you to give us your company, but we thought you might like to hang out. Ah ha 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 ha. So, would you like to come join us? Come on, you'll have a lot more fun than just sitting here with your head on your desk. I guess I won't be missing anything important, nor will I be missed. Alright, then, I don't think I'd be missing much. What do you have in mind? Well, I have in mind a save point, because that's all I'm going to do tonight. Hope you enjoyed this part. I will be back next time I upload a part, so goodbye. I don't know why I'm talking like this.